Hi everybody. Welcome to Al's Canoe Kalamazoo. We're in the process of building a cedar strip canoe with a brand new design by Al himself. My name is Brian. It's been my job to spearhead this video series breaking down the process. We don't want to let the big guy down, so let's get right to it. So before I had just used a saw to cut the ends of the strips off kind of as I was going, and the one thing I didn't really show up until now, but I was doing sort of along the way. So I went through and smoothed out this edge to fair it up a little bit. Uh, mainly I used spoke shave for that job. Um, so obviously we want a nice smooth curve because what happens next is we put the outer stem over that. So I've been spending a lot of time since I got the hull closed up working on these stems, working on this outer edge to smooth that out. I've done a little bit of sanding. You can see some sanding marks here. Get as a good a reference point as I can. Because this is a little bit of tricky work. Basically, um, you gotta go through and tune it. Find the high spots on the stem, maybe the high spots on the strips, and sort of find a medium ground and try to limit that open space in between as much as you can and get a matching curve. Um, the outer stem will bend a little bit, but it is pretty stiff, so you don't wanna force it to do a lot of flexing. I do plan on putting some screws in, at least while the epoxy is drying, and then hopefully I'll be able to take those out later. Um, plan is to put some wax on the screws to make sure that it is able to release from the epoxy. And the only other kind of fine detail on this is I did cut in a little bit of a channel here. Um, so from the side, but you can kind of see what's going on. It's not very deep. If you see a lot of other can you build videos, these are often very deep. Uh, mine's pretty shallow. And part of that is just setting a curve that matches what I already have on the outer stem. So I don't need to make a, a lot of huge changes. And the way these strips kind of butt up against this inner stem, I only need to get kind of down to that because you want the outer stem to be glued to the inner stem. Um, so I want to make sure I at least had that inner stem fully exposed. So I just cut enough of a channel in that I could fill. And there's some gaps where it, it didn't glue very well from the wall to the inner stem so i'll be able to fill that space with a little bit of thickened epoxy and that'll hold everything together you know so that there's a big gap here i need to fill that later as well All right, folks, so I just epoxied the outer stem onto this end of the boat. Uh, I've already done the other end and done a little bit of shaping on it. So got this one on camera. Just a bit of a, a slop on of the epoxy. Actually, probably didn't get enough in a lot of these spots because I still have some little gaps here. There's going to be some shadows I'm going to want to fill in later, but I'll just patch it up. The outer stem is glued on with square corners that need to be shaped down to a point. We didn't get good footage of that part, but it was mainly done with a spoke shave, a block plane, and a power sander. 
The wood is gradually shaved down to match the surface of the side walls and blended into a fair curve that connects with the bottom of the boat. I have everything shaved down. There's a little bit of epoxy that didn't sand through, um, but I think that'll be okay once I add more epoxy to it. Um, thinking that'll all kind of blend in and you won't really be able to tell spots like this. So I guess we'll find out when it's all done. But I've done that. I've gone over the end, put a nice radius on it so it's not a really sharp point. Still pretty pointy, but I'm thinking the fiberglass should be able to roll over that. Um, and mostly that was just done with hand sanding, going over it a lot. Um, see my screw holes here? mostly just plugged those with a little bit of epoxy a lot of people will go through and put wooden pegs in there but I think I'm gonna skip it I don't mind having a little bit of a, a hole showing there part of the process part of the story so that eh, won't bother me and I got a lot more to do on the top to get everything flat and level I've put some epoxy in here and it's just kind of slopped on there right now, so I might fill that a little bit more, get a better smooth surface on that, and then I have to do the same thing over on the other end. So tonight I am paddling on the beautiful Lake Louise, or Thumb Lake, in northern Michigan. It's about 50 minutes south of Mackinac Bridge. Right now it's very nice, hitting about sunset. I have the rare opportunity to paddle in a friend of mine's wood strip canoe. It's a very old one and it's showing a lot of signs of wear. It's not in great shape, but uh, it floats really well. It holds water. We're not getting any kind of leaks. And it's uh, spent a few hours out on the water today. So pretty fun to get the chance to use someone else's boat making me think about mine and how it's going to handle in the water. I'm going to paddle around a little bit more and see some more. Maybe try to catch a few minnows swimming past. For this build we used just a few dozen staples to hold some key areas to the internal frames. Now those are ready to come out. The boat's been sanded to 60 grit all the way around. What I want to do next is fill in some cracks between strips and some little holes and low spots in the wood imperfections um, with some thickened epoxy. And then we'll go back and re-sand that and then we'll sand down to some finer grits before it's ready for the fiberglass. I just went over the whole boat with my random orbital sander and 100 grit sandpaper. Next thing I'm going to do is scrub this down really well with a wet rag. That'll raise the grain and then I'll go over it again with a finer grit. I plan on doing 120 for my final level and call it good there. Thanks a lot for watching. 
Next episode will cover fiberglassing. Check out the previous episode, subscribe for the next ones, and leave a comment below. See you next time on Al's Canoe, Kalamazoo.